Hey, I'm Noodle Yeti, and this is the 17th part in a series I'm doing where we build a city called Westdale. Last time we went around and added a bunch of trees, props, and decorations all over the city. Just at least around the completed areas, that is. This time around, we're actually going to be continuing with our traffic. And how we're going to be doing that is actually by improving upon our public transportation. I'm not going to pretend to be a guru on this. There's a lot of things I don't understand with bus lines in this game. But one thing I do know is if we come out of this view and we look over at our initial roundabout here, we look at our traffic view routes and we click on one of these things. Oops, not the truck. The majority of the arrows on this roundabout, no matter where we click, is pedestrian vehicles. Now, I've already gone through, paused the game and looked at all the different people using this. It's about half and half mix of tourists and people just trying to get to work from this commercial zone to all of the homes that are on the right hand side of this map or our city, I should say. Now, if we do look at our public transportation, and I'm sorry for the bright flashbangs, toggleable whiteness is still not working with this new patch, so it's disabled for now. You can see we only have one transportation line that goes or two transportation lines that go across town and it's on one side of the city. The tram, which has I think about 15 or 16 stops, and the train station, which only has two stops, one on either end. So I'm thinking I'd like to add a secondary transportation method that goes across the entire right hand side of the city, especially since we have so much high density on this side. I was thinking of going to the metro. Now, I'm ignorant on how feasible it is to build metro under pre-existing skyscrapers and underneath farmland and residential homes, but I'm just going to let my ignorance be bliss and slap it down anyways. Oh my goodness. Oh well. And so in order to help improve the usage of this particular line, we're also going to need to improve our existing bus routes. This is where my knowledge starts to fall flat on its face. I don't know a whole lot about bus routes. I don't know how they work, how they function. I was just using them as kind of pseudo collectors that would bring them to the tram and then the tram would take them across town. So I'm thinking that I'll use them to go from diagonally across the town from this particular view and then the tram and the metro line to get them across vertically from this view. So yeah. Anyways, those are just my thoughts on what I'm going to do with the city and its tr public transportation. But before we can even get into that, you can probably see we have some notification icons here, such as a dead person is waiting for transport and crime rate is high. So with the latest update to hubs and transportation, it's actually broken warehousing. Colossal Order has responded to a post that I've made saying that they are aware of the issue and that they are trying to fix it. And in fact, someone else also responded to that post, someone named Sleepy. He happens to develop a mod called Transfer Manager CE. So if you play with mods, I'd highly recommend it. He has added in a temporary fix to the issue within that mod, which will allow you to continue to use warehouses on empty and full and have them all work as intended. But for now, if you play base game or vanilla or on a console or something, it doesn't work. You're going to have to change these empty to balanced in order to get them to function as intended. I'm not going to bother changing the fill ones off of fill because in this particular save, they happen to be working as intended. But sometimes I would notice that my warehouse is just even on balanced or fill, they wouldn't work. But every time so far, empty does not work at all. So anyways, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to get these all set to balanced and we will continue from there. All right, so I've got all the warehouses in the city that were empty now set to balanced. So once they eventually fix this issue, I will have to go back around and set those to empty again. But yeah, we can finally get into the beginning of it. Now to start, I'd actually like to start with the bus lines. So when we look at this and we see how this one's over here, it's not actually meeting up with this tram line. I'm going to have to go ahead and go around town real quick and modify some of the bus routes. I'm going to pull this one across all the way to the tram line. I'm going to change this uh, salmon and I don't know what the green one, what the green color would be called, cilantro. I don't know. The salmon and cilantro line over here to encompass the grove 
this neighborhood up here and just this high density while pulling it out of the IT cluster. And I'm gonna be adding another one over here that covers the IT cluster in the university area that also links it up to the salmon and cilantro and the, um, what would that be? The uh, light blue and purple, whatever that line is, it'll hook up to that one as well. So yeah, I'm gonna alter the bus lines real quick. I will be right back. messing around with the bus lines, their stops, what buses, how many and whatnot. And we got up to almost, it fluctuates just beneath and just above around 2,800 per week. It's a little bit lower right now because I just swapped out one of the buses for an articulated one. So that whole line is obviously out of the mix until all those buses get into the swing of it. But I was thinking, I don't want to fine tune this just yet. I think I want to add in our Metro line now and then once this is done and in place and people are starting to use it, that's when I wanna go through and start finding, fine tuning the bus routes. So just to start, the first one I wanted to place was actually exchanging this intercity bus terminal for the one with the Metro hub that just came out with the new DLCs, the um, Metro Harbor and Hubs and Transport, I think is what it's called. This one right here. And then I'm going to also be taking advantage of a couple different metro stops. I'm going to be taking advantage of this default underground metro station. And then I'm also going to be using this parallel underground metro station in a couple spots. And I'll kind of explain a little bit why I used those at the end. So I will be right back. I'm going to get into laying out this metro line. So I've got the Metro line in here and I've got it all set up. I have four stop or one, two, three, four, five stops all the way across town with eight cars. As you can notice, I do have a segment there where there is two lines 
next to each other. That is not a mistake, that is on purpose. When I plan to expand for residential on the other side of this river here, I would like this line on the right hand side to break off at this point and curve across and connect up into this particular residential area. Yet again, I don't know how possible it is to run a metro line under a river, but yet again, I'm going to let my ignorance be bliss and go ahead and do that anyway, so do not spoil that for me in the comments. Let me believe it can be done and I will do it in City Skylines. So now that I've got it all set up, I think I'm going to go ahead and turn this into, or go ahead and start fine tuning all the bus routes. This particular route for this particular route for the Metro line, I went with the 120 capacity car just to start off. If I ever see it hit 120, I will go ahead and raise it up to the next one. I believe the next one is 150 or maybe I'll go with the 204. I guess it just depends on how many people I see riding it and how often it fills up to max. But for now, it's doing just fine with eight cars, 120 capacity per car. Definitely overkill, but now you can see we're back up to almost 2,800, and I have a feeling once I start messing around and fine-tuning these bus routes, we'll probably hit that 2,800 mark. So I will be right back. I'm going to go ahead and fine-tune those. I don't know if I'll give you a time-lapse of that. Probably just cut to the next part. Be right back. All right, here we are. So I've gone around and messed around with all these bus lines. Yet again, I'm not a guru on bus lines. Don't know anything about them. But pretty much what I did is I doubled the vehicles, or put two times as many vehicles as there is stops, and I just watched them for a while, and if it ever hit the capacity of 30, I'd up it to the one of 50. If it never even reached 20, then I would lower it down to the minibus. That's pretty much the, how I did it. And again, we're almost, it looks like we're just at 2,800, so it looks like we need to hit about 200 more per week in order to get City Hall. However, I actually want to kind of take a turn with this. There was a couple commenters a while back, somebody by the name of Glyson commented that he wanted to see more pedestrian connectivity around town. And on the last video, somebody else commented, ooh, look at that flood. My goodness. Hopefully nobody minds. None of the trucks are getting washed away, so I assume nobody cares. But anyways, and then on the last video, somebody by the name of CityZilla commented saying that he'd like to see more pathways around town and between trees and things like that, so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think the same thing as adding in the bicycle lanes around the city, adding in all the pedestrian paths will take away from our goal of obtaining City Hall, but I think it's going to have an overall positive impact on our city, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So I will... Actually, before I get into that, I wanted to point out something. When I added in the metro line over here at the Grove, I added in a couple new roads and upgraded this one that's going to eventually bridge across. I did that just to help out with the connectivity so maybe the people in this particular high density area didn't have to come out and drive on the main road to get to this particular commercial area. They could take this back road over here. And same thing if they needed to come to work over here on this farm, they could take the back road. So just a little bit more connectivity around here for people who might not need to take these main roads. So yeah, I think I will go ahead and get into adding all these pedestrian areas around town. Be or not pedestrian areas, my bad. Adding all the uh, pedestrian pads. So be right back.
added quite a few paths around town and some of the areas that have thicker segments of trees, such as between these two neighborhoods here and the main road, I decided to add some more dirt paths and things like that, just to give people more opportunities to cross over and walk around. Same with over here, I decided to do that right in front of the nature reserve. It's really interesting, it's a lot of fun trying to work the paths in without destroying the trees or the low vegetation. It has actually, and I've done this all throughout the city, adding in like cross sections and ways to cut across things that you normally wouldn't have been able to cut across. And it actually has impacted our transportation. So this is actually, oh, well, we're in a high right now. We're at the high of around 2,800, but it stoops down to about 2,500. So it fluctuates between the two, 2,500 to 2,800. So hopefully one of these days we will be able to cross over that 3,000 threshold, but... So yeah, I'm really liking the way the city's turned out. We've added the metro line to give people an easier way to get across the city. We've adapted our bus lines, added a new bus line, and upped our average users from around the low 2000s all the way to the high 2000s. So hopefully that's had an impact on our traffic. I actually haven't looked. We're in the high 80s, so maybe it has to do with all the buses that I added. I really don't know how they work or function. I just decided to go with double the buses as stops. And then if the bus is filled up, then I would increase the capacity. But yeah. Still on the high 80s, so I'm happy with that traffic. I believe when we started, we were around 90 or so, low 90s. But I'm happy with this, and I think it, I think it's doing pretty good. I'm looking forward to next time. I think the next time, or for the next part, I'd like to actually finish extending across the river and placing a bunch of residential and possibly including the financial DLC. So thank you. Thank you for your viewership. I appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Oh, 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 oh.